Another reason people might not be wearing a mask is maybe they just don't have one. But remember, it doesn't have to be an actual medical mask right now to be effective, right? Anything that covers your nose and mouth can help. Although I will say, one guy in San Diego got a little too creative with his coverage. Outrage is growing over a man seen wearing a Ku Klux Klan hood inside of a Vons grocery store near San Diego. Other shoppers took pictures of the man seen Saturday in the city of Santee. Store clerks reportedly asked the man to remove the hood or leave. He finally took it off while he was in line, then paid for his items and left. Santee's mayor and others have condemned the incident. Detectives from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department are now investigating and will pursue any appropriate charges. Wow, wearing a clan hood as a face mask. That seems counterproductive. Cause I mean, you might be protecting yourself from Corona, but you're definitely gonna get a case of ass whipping. And I know this guy thought he was being intimidating wearing a KKK mask in public, but I'm sorry, man, you're in a grocery store. I can't be scared of anyone buying go -Gurts. Trump and his entourage moved on to the Honeywell factory where they were given a grand tour of the machinery that helps to make the masks that are being shipped around the country. And you may have noticed that even after Mike Pence's faux pas at the Mayo Clinic, Trump decided not to wear a mask while walking around the mask factory. And look, I know he's worried about how he looks, but that makes no sense. I mean, the mask would literally be the least distracting thing on Trump's head. Everything else needs like nine hours of explanation. Now, the White House's defense is that the president doesn't need to wear a mask because everyone who comes into contact with him is given a rapid coronavirus test. And if that's the case, maybe Trump should be hosting rallies right now. Yeah, because think about it. Then everyone who touches him will finally get access to a test and then boom, America's testing problem is solved. Ha <laughs> ha! Do we even need Fauci? I feel like I'm doing all the work. But if we know that masks can help save lives and stop the spread of coronavirus, why are so many people refusing to wear masks when they go out in public? Well, one reason is that just honestly, they're not super comfortable. And one woman in Kentucky found a solution that totally didn't work. A Kentucky woman is going viral for the way she wears a mask. This woman was caught on camera shopping with a hole cut in the middle of her protective mask. She claims it made it, quote, easier to breathe since everyone is required to wear a mask while out. Of course, the CDC is advising that masks should cover both the nose and mouth completely. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. I get where this woman is coming from. Wearing a mask can make it a little harder to breathe, but you know what can make it a lot harder to breathe? Coronavirus. Like, I think some people might be missing the point of the mask. It's not about conforming, it's about safety. Can you imagine if people brought this attitude to sex? Don't worry, babe, of course I used a condom. Yeah, I just ripped the top off because it was really uncomfortable for my penis and it made it look like it was robbing a bank. But we're good, we're totally safe. Let's check in with Mike Pence vice president of the United States and guy who covers his eyes when Simba and Nala kiss. Yesterday, unfunny Steve Martin was in Florida to see how their reopening is going. And when he stopped for lunch at a local restaurant, he gave us the most Mike Pence moment imaginable. Now, Vice President Mike Pence did something this week many of us are patiently waiting to do, order food inside a restaurant. He stopped at a burger joint with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis yesterday. What do you recommend? So, yeah. like spicy or not spicy? Of course Mike Pence wants not spicy. This dude's favorite spice girl was Celine Dion. Seriously, it's crazy that Mike Pence can even eat at restaurants considering all his diet restrictions. I also can't have any meat that's touched other meat. It's a sin. Also, what you didn't see in that clip, because they cut it out, was the part when the employee asked Pence if he wants breasts or thighs, and then mother came in and tackled the shit out of him. 